Hi, my name's Amy Lennox and I'm the audiologist with GN Otometrics Australia and welcome to how to perform really a measure using aided response and the new oracle. Now once you're in the auto suite, which normally opens in audiometry mode, just go to navigator, straight down to unaided response and click control panel to connect to your free fit. Once connected, your probe tube calibration box should pop up. If it doesn't, what you need to do is go to Tools, Prefit Calibration and Probe Tube. Now you can press Start in the software or you can press the power button on the Prefit to run the probe tube calibration. So here we've got calibration successful. If it's not successful, or if it's quite peaky, just check that your probe tubes aren't blocked and that the free fit is nice and stable whilst you're performing this measure. When you're happy, just press close. And here we are in the unaided response screen. If you hover over the unaided button, it tells you what's going to be presented. So here we can see it's going to be noise pink 65 and for five seconds. So if we run an unaided response, Here's my result here. Now let's just have a little talk about the view here before we move on. At the moment you can see the thresholds for the audiogram. So if I take that off, that disappears. And also unusable area. If you don't like that, you can take that off as well. You can view response in both SPL or HL. Whatever you prefer. I prefer SPL. So now I'm happy with my unaided response, I'm going to move on to aided response. Here you should get your fitting details box pop up, and this is where you can change your target rules and different selections. Please see the other video about setting up the prescription targets also on this Ozmetrics channel. Quick apply. Now when I hover over each of these buttons you can see that I get different responses. Let's look at the first one. So the dotted line in the middle, that'll be your target response. The solid line represents the signal spect spectrum, which is the static average for the input signal. The shaded area represents the percentile curves, and this is a dynamic view of the signal spectrum measured at the eardrum. This includes the LTAS curves. So if you look at the top, this is where 1% of the signal measured at the eardrum are indicated by the curve and this is also referred to as the peaks of speech and the one at the bottom is where levels are exceeded by 70% of the signal and this is also known as the valleys of speech. So you can see here I've got my different stimulus levels 65, 50 and 80 and when I hover over those different buttons you can see I get different responses coming up on the screen. So if we run a 65 dB stimulus You can also use on top mode in this view, which is this button up here. This allows you to have the gain controls from the hearing aid software underneath the software for your real ear measures. I like to use this view with the sequence, so I'll tick 65, 50 and 80 and press the sequence button and it will run all three signals for me. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So once you've finished and matched the target, which I know I haven't done in this instance, you can go back to full screen mode. Now you might think that this screen is now very busy. That's okay if you just go to this overlays box at the bottom. 
can get rid of that percentile if you just want to see the target curves. You can switch on things like speech letters, the speech banana. You can customize the speech banana to represent the long term average speech spectrum. Unusable area, pictures, severity, these all help your counseling. Again, you can change to HL or you can keep it in SPL, which I find easier. If this is still too busy and you just want to show the 65 dB, remember that the colours are represented here. So purple is 65, red is 50 and blue is 80. So I can just untick the ones here that I don't want and I just want to print out my 65. If you just want to show one ear, you can select right, left or go back to both. And that's how you perform really in measures with aided response and the new oracle. My name's Amy Lennox and thank you for watching.